Welcome back, everyone. It is time for our triple play. So I'm going to kick us off starting in the sky. My pick is Satellogic, ticker symbol SATL. Now, this is a nano satellites operator and a builder of spacecraft. Now, the shares actually got a boost in early trading, but they couldn't quite hang on to it. As you can see, the, the stock is down about about one and a half percent at the moment. Now, we did see it's also yet down, down year to date by more than eight percent. But despite that, the shares were moving on news of a multiple launch agreement reached with Elon Musk's SpaceX to launch to, launch, to increase launch capacity for its next 68 satellites. Now, in a company statement, they say SpaceX continues to be Satellogic's preferred vendor for rideshare missions. Now, the deal furthers Satellogic's goal of achieving a weekly remapping of the entire surface of the Earth in 2023 in high resolution and with high frequency. Now, if successful, this would be the first company to ever do so. Now, it would also allow companies, governments, and organizations to monitor changes on the ground and make faster decisions in terms of things like natural disasters or even conflict. Well, Satellogic sounds like the latest company to really want to do business with Elon Musk. He's a man that's very popular these days. So certainly we'll see how that pans out for Satellogic. Well, from space, let's bring it back to Earth and let's talk about two companies that are moving to the downtime pretty significantly today. Look at those losses from Lyft. The two ride hailing stocks taking a huge hit. Now, Lyft tumbled as much as 35% in intraday trading. It was the biggest drop that we have seen for the shares on record here. Now, this is all over worry about its outlook and also the driver shortage that we've been hearing about for months. Investors questioning if Lyft's efforts to attract more drivers, whether or not that's going to derail the company's road to profitability and reach those goals that they ha have laid out. Now, in a note to clients, Piper Sandler analyst Alexander Potter writing that, quote, there's no room for error in this environment, but still the sell-off that we're seeing today seems a bit overdone. Uber falling alongside Lyft today despite reporting strong demand for rides during the quarter and doubling its first quarter revenue, Dave. Yeah, the numbers for Uber look spectacular, right? I mean, trips up 18%, monthly active consumers up 17%, revenue up 168%. The prevailing wisdom was that because Lyft spent on drivers, Uber would have to at some point. But Dara came out this morning and made clear we've already done that spending mm -hmm. on our drivers, so we're fine. By the way, little plug here, super pumped the story of Travis Kalanick and how he founded Uber. Unbelievable. Check it out on Showtime I have Streaming. To. It's incredible. All right, my play is DraftKings. DraftKings stock uh, started the day down a bit, but it has really rallied with the rest of the market. The news is that it is now on the ballot in California. They got 1.6 million signatures to get sports betting on the ballot in California in the fall. And they actually teamed up, DraftKings did, with FanDuel and with BetMGM to get those signatures to get it uh, towards the voters. But the big question now going forward is, will it pass? This will be one of the most expensive ballot proposals of all time. They are spending an expected $100 million already, but on the other side, the tribes, the Indian tribes in California expected to spend some $250 million to get that ballot provision turned down. This is going to be one of the biggest sports betting markets in the country right now. It's New Jersey, Nevada too. California would clearly be the biggest sports betting market in the country if they can legalize in the fall. And if I'm a betting man, which I am, <laughs> I think they're probably going to pass. This is a legal marijuana state after all, Rochelle. It is, but you do have to wonder, I mean, obviously with Native American rights on the table, that isn't something that California is just going to let mull over. I don't know if there's some sort of agreement that could be reached that would give them some sort of betting rights as well, but I think they actually might be in for a bit of an uphill battle. And as we've seen with some of these betting companies that came out, they offered all sorts of deals when it comes to getting new people to sign on. But once those deals go away, are people still going to be as interested in sports betting? We'll have to see. Obviously, it's a growing, budding thing. A lot of people waiting for this. And as you said, keeping that one eye on California. It's remarkable, Rochelle, how much they're spending on these um, deals to lure new gamblers. I mean, you're offering $1,000 risk-free bets. You're offering $500 with no risk, zero. But will they keep them? They'll keep enough of them. Earnings report on Friday for DraftKings. That will be a very interesting number because the stock has gotten crushed this year and crushed over the last 12 months. At some point, it's got to be a great opportunity again. <laughs> if you are a betting man, there is the chart. Look at that thing. 
It has been ugly in recent times.